Let's start from the very top, which is video. So here are a list of suggested frame sizes for you to use depending on your aspect ratio. Ideally, you want to keep the resolution at 1080p or below. If it's any higher, it will get compressed, meaning the quality will look bad when you watch it on TikTok. If the width of your sequence is longer, then you want to change the second value. So keep this one here at 1080, but since you're making a TikTok edit, it's probably longer in terms of height, so vertically longer than the width, which means that the first value should be 1080. And before you change the setting, make sure that this has been enabled, this lock symbol here. So if you unlock it, it might cause issues. Make sure it's been selected, then change it to 1080, whichever one it is. Frame rates, keep it as it is. Progressive for the field order. The aspect should be square pixels. And if you click on these three buttons, you'll be presented with more settings. So the first one, don't check this. There is no point unless you're working with 10 bit footage, which I don't think TikTok or even YouTube or Instagram support. So there's no point. However, this setting down here, which is use maximum render quality, needs to be checked. As editors, what we usually do is downscale high resolution footage from let's say 4K down to 1080p. So if my sequence was 1920 by 1080p and I had a overlay which was in 4K, I would scale it down to fit my frame. However, that might affect the quality when we export our video. So leave this checked. It can help avoid that issue. Now scroll down until you see encoding settings. Uncheck the box for the profile and change it from main to high. Leave everything as it is and scroll down even further until you see the bitrate settings. For the bitrate encoding, I made a very big mistake. I used to use CBR. This means constant bitrate, meaning the bitrate will stay the same. So for example, if I was to select it and then pick a bitrate of 12 megabits per second, the entire edit will be at 12 megabits per second, even if there is no movement or action. And this can result in a very large file size for absolutely no reason. So to avoid it, you want to change it to VBR to pass. So I'm going to select it. And before I show you the recommended settings, let me explain to you why I chose VBR instead of CBR. Since CBR is constant, so imagine this is CBR. Let's say this is the start of the edit. So zero and then it's a minute long so i'm just going to put a one here so what you are seeing is the video length and its bit rate so let's just say for example this is eight megabits per second and it will stay that way through the entire edit my cursor here is the actual footage itself and the amount of bits rate it needs depending on the footage. So imagine this is the lowest it can go, somewhere like down here. So it starts off, there's not much action going on and then suddenly there's a lot of action so it's going to be using more bit rate and this continues over time until it starts to become a little calmer. So the clips are now more static with less movement, but it still requires some bit rate that it needs to use. And then let's say it ends right here. Everything that you see here in between the space is a complete waste. This is the amount of data that the edit did not need to use, which as I mentioned before, results in a very large file size, meaning that there will be more compression and more compression leads to bad quality. So what do we do? We use VBR. VBR means variable, meaning it changes over time depending on how much it needs. So the target bitrate is the minimum and the maximum is the maximum. Depending on your settings, you could go for as little as six for the target and something like 15 for the maximum. Since we are uploading onto TikTok, I recommend doing eight for the target and 12 for the maximum. However, in some cases you may need to increase it. So 10 for the target, and potentially 15 for the maximum. And this completely depends on your footage. So if there's a lot of action, you want to go for a higher option. I hope you found that useful. Now let's move on to the audio, which doesn't really need much tweaking because usually everything is set for you, but just to make sure these are the settings that I recommend. So AAC, 
for both of these settings up here. Sample rates could be anything such as 44,000 to 48,000. I think TikTok compresses the audio anyway, so it's not much of a difference. Channels, I think this depends on your audio, but I recommend stereo. Unless you have a voiceover, it's probably going to be mono, but that would depend on your microphone settings. We're talking about edits, so usually it's going to be stereo. And the bitrate, 320 is fine. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Also, I forgot to mention this at the very start. Format, make sure it's H. 264. It's probably the best option available. I hope you found this useful but do let me know in the comments if I missed anything and I will try my best to explain or cover it in another video. Anyway, see you next time. Peace.